Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hoppets. Today, reviewing some macro lager, a courtesy of Jonathan, aka Hop Hayes on YouTube. Jonathan sent me quite a few beers, uh, but all of them were Miller High Lifes. He wanted me to do a full review on Miller High Life from the bottle. He says it's best on the bottle. Uh, we already did a little test of it in cans for 4th of July. It was just, you know, whatever macro lager. Uh, but we're going to try it today, and uh, he also sent some other stuff. He sent a Three Floyds uh, Barrel Ace beer that was really good, a White Stout. But yeah, this is the famous Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. This is an American Pale Lager coming in at, I think it's 4.8, or is it 5%? It is 4.6% even. So yeah, uh, you know, I think a lot of people in the brewing industry actually also think this is one of the best macro beers in the States. So let's dive into it. You can't see it anymore, but this glass was frosted. But having to do layover shots and all that, uh, you know, it, cool, it warms up a bit. But uh, Jonathan told me to use a frosted glass, so we're doing it. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So it pours what you expect, fizzy golden yellow beer. And funny enough, I'm using a stone glass for this because stone is making fun of fizzy yellow beer. But or at least they did back in the day. But yeah, let's check out the aroma on this one. Smells very macro. Uh, sweet malt. There is a slight grassy hop character to it, but it's like... It's like cereal grainy, it's corny, but yeah, there's not a lot of aroma to it, you know, like compared to European macro beers, especially like if you compare just to like Tuborg, it, Tuborg actually has a decent hop character. This is fairly mild, but let's give it a taste guys. Cheers. That is ice cold, ice cold. I think there's a huge accentuation on malt and it's like that sweet cereal, sweet kind of malt thing that is on lots of American beer. It's almost like sweet cereal grain or high fructose corn syrupy sweet wives. Like it's, it's fairly sweet for a pills or a, like a lager type, but then there's some grassy hoppiness. Like I don't think it's a terrible beer at all. And I see why a lot of people like this as a crushing beer. Like you can crush tons of this, drink tons of it. It has a little bit of a hop character to it, but like, I think European macros are better than this. Like it's, yeah, it's just grassy like, and there's not crazy off flavors or anything really. It's just like this huge high fructose corn syrup kind of thing, like really sweet corny malt profile. And then with some grassy hops and whatnot, uh, maybe slightly citric even, you know, it's an okay macro beer. Uh, I've definitely had worse. But I think something like PBR is better in my mind, and that might be a hipster beer or whatever, but that for me is just a little bit sweet than this, at least as far as I remember. It's been a long time since I had PBR, but I actually don't mind a PBR. With well, that being said, I don't mind Miller High Life either, but it's not like wowzers. Uh, but yeah, what are we gonna give this? Maybe a 70 for a pale lager, macro pale lager is quite all right. It's not offensive. It is what it is, but there's many other ways you can enjoy this beer and maybe these ways will be better. And I got a whole case of these to check out. So yeah, let's just try and drink Miller High Life in many different ways and see what's best. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Cheers guys. Hey there fellas, we're having a shower beer. Miller High Life. Let's see if it works better ice cold in the shower. Still smells like next to nothing. After a long day at work, this is an eight and a half fan, I think. Hmm. Back to the shower. Good golly, fellas. Okay, guys, we're continuing with the Miller High Life Odyssey. And I was suggested to try and drink this as a boiler maker. So we got a frosted glass. We got some, it's, it's honey jack. It's, I, I, I have some bourbon, but I'm not gonna spend expensive bourbon on this experiment to see if this will make it better. Uh, but we have some honey jack left over from my birthday. So we're gonna pour some honey jack into a shot glass. And I've never had a boiler maker before. It was either this or it was uh, Fireball whiskey shots. But we opted with this because I had a, an idea that Fireball was dominating like crazy. And then we got Miller High Life. It's Miller time. Into a frosted glass, ice cold, just so you can't taste the goddamn thing. Here we 
go. That's not gonna frost it anymore. But trust me, this was in the freezer. And here we go. So man, I, am I ready to chug this? That's, I think this is gonna be a lousy chug because we just have loads of food. Kingston and I. Kingston is the cameraman. Say hi, Kingston. Hi, Kingston. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Boilermaker. Three, two, one. I can't chug it. It's too fucking go cold. Wow, it's cold. Ugh. That is an utter fail. Ugh. And kids can't chug it either. I think the biggest problem is the, the temperature. Ah, that was the worst chug I've ever done. Ooh! Uh, did it make it better? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like high life with a shot of whiskey. It's not half bad though. I'd do this again, but not with a frosted glass and an ice cold beer. Just a little warmer, please, because that is cold for the throat. But hey, now we tried it. Boilermaker High Life. And we're back with more Miller High Life. But this time around, we're gonna be enjoying it as a beer and a spear. And this is a dill pickle. <laughs> really good one at that, homemade. Homemade dill pickle, it smells a boatload like dill pickles and garlic and everything, it smells awesome. This is apparently a Midwest thing where you take your High Life or whatever Miller beer because it's Miller time. Uh, and you pour that on top of a dill pickle and you let it sit for a bit and you drink it and you get a delicious dill pickle taste. So, oh yeah, very full. Wow, what a terrible pour, but we need to let it sit anyways for a bit. So, yeah, we just did the Boilermaker and that was actually quite all right. So now we're going to let this try and gas off because I poured like shit and I'm going to be back drinking a beer and spirit. Look at this, the champagne of beer is in a bottle with the slow pour head. Look at that, a delicious homemade dill pickle is inside. Man, this beer and the spear, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, we let the pickle sit in the beer for a bit. It's still cold, it's not frosty anymore. Uh, if you smell this, it smells like High life with a touch of a cucumber vibe. Let's try and have a, a beer and a spear. <laughs> this is seriously a thing. <laughs> But the worst part is, I kind of like it because I love pickles. This is probably the best way I've ever had a high life so far. It tastes like, especially the aftertaste, you get dill pickle flavor. Like, what the hell? It's just like a touch. I think the more the pickle sits in there, the more you get. Let's just try and fish out the pickle and have a taste and see if it tastes like high life. I love pickle. <laughs> it tastes like beer. Fuck, man. Maybe I, you know, should live in the Midwest. Because I fucking love this. <laughs> this is actually kind of good. Mmm. Fuck, I'm weird. This is awesome. This is a fam This is the best way I've ever had a high life. Period. But we still have a few ways to drink High Life to test. But a beer and a spear, that is awesome. I've, I've had a couple pickle beers on the channel as of late and they've been really damn fun. But this is not sour or anything. It's like, it's High Life. It's like dad's whatever beer. It's like this, you know, macro beer that's a little bit sweet and generic. And you know, it's just, it tastes like a mild macro beer, but it's, it's getting more flavor with some of that pickle love. Mm. Oh, the pickle even touched my lips there. <laughs> it's kind of like Satan's Toe. Have you ever heard of that? Is it Satan's Toe? There's a drink with a 
petrified toe in it. Like right now when I take a sip, the pickle floats. So like it touches your lip. I'm a fan. I'm a total fan. This is a thumbs up. This is awesome. That's uh, yeah. I don't know if it should sit longer because I also want to drink it cold. So I'm not gonna do that, but uh, yeah, yeah. Best way to enjoy high life so far. Beer in a spear. Cheers. Okay, guys, we're gonna do something now that might make Miller High Life even better. Yeah. And uh, that's chugging it out of the bottle. Yeah. So we're going to uh, jug this champagne by the way. of beers and hello with you. Yes. <laughs> hello with you from Plena. <laughs> Plena's not been a in a video in a long time, but yeah. he's back. Because... Yeah, I mean, it's because I'm a daddy. Yeah. Uh, daddy to oh, two daddy. and <laughs> very beautiful girls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to chug it from a bottle, but do that weird swirly thing to try and chug it faster. We've never done it, so we're probably going to suck at it. Uh, but we're going to try it anyway. So, so uh, okay. Yeah, and, I, and basically, I don't think I've chucked a beer since it's been at least ten years. So, and I wasn't very good at it then. So, yeah, let's okay. see. Let's see. I used to be really good at it. My record was like three seconds to chuck a, a, a pint of beer. Okay. But, uh, oh, You're gonna win this one. Oh, no, I don't think so. So apparently, the deal is like you just put it to your mouth, and then before you start drinking, you swirl it around while it's in your mouth. And then you just start drinking. And then it should create a maelstrom so you can chug it really fast. See, see, already now I'm predicting that we're going to clash our heads together or something. Okay. But yeah, well, let's do it. Should we try? <coughs> okay, three, two, one. Ooh, huh? Night, 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 Peter, it's not going well. <laughs> It didn't work for me either, and I didn't swirl it enough, I think. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Then we need to clean the floor. You're just spraying beer everywhere instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not working out. It worked for me, but I will say uh, it is actually better when you chug it. Yeah, it's just. Uh, yeah. Because it, you actually had half of the one yeah. I, I, I reviewed, and it's better because. <laughs> You don't taste as much of, much of it. It just it goes down real fast. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Well, this was not a failing chug for me at least. I'm yeah. happy about that. Even though there's so much foam because I swirled it, I think so. Okay, you did pretty well. Well, um, that 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 was yeah a an fail. experience. Maybe you want to try and chug the rest just normally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chug, 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 chug or not, chug or not, chug or not. There we go. Fuck, there's so much foam in these yeah, beers. Very much. What the yeah. fuck? Okay. That was the chugging of a Miller High Life. It made it slightly better. Yeah. I got but, beer all over my face. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to clean up the floor and... Uh, and my face. Be, yes. So yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little charade of drinking the champagne of beers, aka Miller High Life. And what can we conclude from drinking Miller High Life numerous different ways and also just drinking it to get wasted before going out? Is that it's just another macro and it's pretty damn okay. Like, it doesn't matter whatever beer you're drinking as long as you're drinking something that you enjoy. And this has it pla its place. Like, if you're going out with friends, and you're sitting having fun laughing that you're drinking a beer with a pickle in it, that's totally fine. Beer doesn't always have to be snobby, silly, and like crazy or anything. It's also just about having fun and having good times. And I can tell you, we had good times drinking High Life. Is it my favorite macro beer ever? No. Will it ever be? No. But this was fun. So thanks a ton for the entire 12 pack of experiences, Jonathan. This was a great little way of drinking high life <laughs> and trying some different ways to drink it that uh, I know a lot of people apparently love. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a ton for watching. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for more macro videos. Maybe not as in-depth as this. I don't know. If you have a macro beer that you'd like me to see, to see me drink in many different ways, if there's a way you drink it where you're from, let me know. And we, maybe we can do something about that. Because, you know, macro beer can be okay once in a while. It doesn't always have to be craziness. 
But hey, it's not all the time they're good, but they serve their purpose. So yeah, if you guys ever had High Life, let them know what you thought of it as well. And I'm gonna say cheers and loads of empty bottles, even though you see a lot missing, because I also share it with friends. So yeah, cheers and nothing. And see you guys in the next beer review. When the only sound is the frozen silence of winter, you go to work, throwing mountains of snow back into the sky. And when the track becomes a railroad again, it's Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find, Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Miller Beer. Miller Beer.